Hello, my name is Lisa Bruce. Today is April the 18th. We will be discussing cultural differences in international trade for my assignment in my LOGM 228 procurement class. Cultural differences are sensitive issues and those who take the time to research these differences will have a better chance of remaining competitive and thriving in the international business environment. Businesses preparing to enter the global market must learn how cultural differences can affect their business conduct in different markets. Their performance depends on understanding cultural diversity and that other markets have their own set of priorities, preferences, and expectations. I have chosen to do my cultural differences research on China. Why did I choose China? As I was sitting at my desk reading over the requirements for this assignment, I randomly picked up five items. Four out of the five items were made in China. So that's how I strategically planned for this assignment. In China, ancient cultural practices are still crucial to Chinese business. The Chinese expect each person to understand and comply with their proper place in society. The Chinese value the idea of saving face, which means you will do nothing that diminishes a person's position or authority in any transaction. The Chinese also follow a practice of granting favors to people with which they have a relationship. If a Chinese business person grants you a favored status in a business deal, they will expect you to return the favor in the future. You will constantly hear two Chinese words about doing business in China. And I apologize because I probably am not going to pronounce these correctly, but they are Mianzi and Guanxi. Mianzi, or face in China is a culture in which reputation and hierarchy are highly valued. How others perceive you and the respect you acknowledge is fundamental to Chinese business. Think of it as being as your reputation, except on a much deeper level. Everyone has face, but just like reputation, Mianzi can be positively and negatively affected. Your face has as much to do with the actions as of others as it does your own. Of course, knowing your place in society and showing respect to others around you is vital in creating face. But you can quickly lose face through the actions of others and others can lose face through yours. For example, if your colleagues were to fail to perform as expected, that would cause you to lose face and them. Many Americans won't hesitate to challenge their managers in the workplace. And often there's an institutional working style that places management professionals on the same level as team members in a combined environment. The same can't be said for the Chinese business culture. The Chinese business culture importance is placed on respecting hierarchies. Decisions made by those above you are considered final. Understanding the invisible rules of respect and differences towards your superiors. Guanxi, or relationship in China, means it's people think about the needs of society before their own. This can only work if there is a strong network of deep relationships, or guanxi, between people. Mianzi plays a significant role in this, as does trust. The Chinese people believe in meaningful, long-term relationships. Building guanxi is about the relationship itself, not about the end result. Therefore, when engaging your target market in China, you must approach this from the point of view of creating meaningful connections. Being seen or acting like you have an agenda will reflect poorly on you and damage your ability to connect with people. 
To the Chinese, business partnerships are about trust. To trust someone, they need to know someone. That can mean asking immediate personal questions that may seem offensive to Americans, but are a matter of building trust in business relationships for the Chinese. However, this is not an invitation to be overly familiar and informal in your communication style. While in America, it is encouraged to keep your personal life out of the workplace and avoid crossing boundaries. In China, it is expected that your personal and professional lives will overlap. Mianzi and Gawanchi are two concepts that are difficult to understand and put into practice for us Americans, but they remain essential in Chinese business cultures. Underestimating these two concepts and their importance in Chinese business culture can be a fatal mistake for foreign companies and business people. In summary, cultural influences how people interact with each other. Culture inter influences decision-making, behavior, thinking patterns, and values in the business world. Every country has culture characteristics. The success of any foreign future foreign business partnership centers around the awareness and the respect for these cultural differences. Thank you for your time this evening. This concludes my assignment.